Hey everyone, Sylvia here. In this tutorial, we're going to cover a web scaffolding tool called Yeoman. It was released a few years ago, and it basically opened up the concept of automating the build of your web projects on the front end with uh, Angular, React, or Bootstrap uh, using their list of generators, which are basically like plugins, and we'll cover that later. Uh, so in this tutorial, we're going to cover how to set up your dev environment and create a simple HTML5 boilerplate connected to Bootstrap, Modernizer, and SAS. So let's begin. Before we begin, we have to have four things installed on our computer locally. That includes Node, NPM, Git, and the Yeoman toolset. We can go ahead and install both Node and NPM automatically just by going to the nodejs.org website and downloading it for macOS um, on this page here. You can then check uh, opening up your terminal by typing in Node version and you'll see that you'll have you'll see the version number that you have installed currently as well as uh, npm version. In the case that uh, you need to update your npm version, you can do that by typing in install npm install dash dash global npm at latest, and that should grab the latest uh, npm uh, version and install it onto your computer. In this case, I already have mine um, updated so that won't be necessary for me. For git you can install that going on git-scm.com and downloading it for Mac through the website here and then you can go back to terminal and type in git version to see if uh, it's installed correctly on your computer. The last thing we're going to install is the Yeoman toolset and that is done through npm. We'll type in npm install dash global yo and that would go ahead and grab the Yeoman toolset. Now this computer already has it so um, we don't need to um, reinstall it again. In fact I, I think I get some errors if I reinstall it again. Um, oh, the error is I have to put a sudo command. So sudo npm install dash global yo. And that will allow me to install the tool set as a uh, administrator of my computer and then it should go all the way through. And as you can see, that's done. And you can check if everything's fine by going to your version. And we'll see here that we have version 1.8.5. So now that everything is installed, we're going to go ahead and uh, grab this web app generator. And this is a generator that I'd say is the most common um, basic web app generator that runs on uh, Bootstrap, SAS, and uh, Modernizer with Gulp. There's a ton of other generators on the Yeoman website that get updated and um, installed by several users every day. And uh, if you're looking for something like a React web app or a Angular web app, uh, you'll find a ton of options over here. Generators are basically like plugins that other users have created uh, with um, other uh, um, package managers installed like Bower and Grunt or Gulp as task runners, 
and uh, basically see them as uh, a plugin with a certain stack attached to them already that you can run on your end so that eliminates the hassle of you actually uh, creating a web app from scratch. So definitely check out this page. Um, but for this tutorial specifically, we'll just focus on the generator web app. So let's go back to terminal here and uh, we can uh, install this uh, web app two ways. One is by typing in yo and then going down to install a generator and then we can type in the um, the name here which is a generator web app or just web app as the keyword and it's going to be searching through all of those plugins that we saw previously and uh, you'll see that I believe it is this one here in the middle and uh, we don't want to go ahead and install this actually that's just a demonstration but that's one way to install it. The other one is by simply typing yo web app. And uh, this is actually within the documentation down here. If you see it um, under getting started, you'll see that th that's the command. Uh, you'll also need the uh, gulp CLI embower installed locally uh, on your machine. So if you get any errors by any chance, you'll have to most likely uh, grab these from NPM before continuing. So we'll go ahead and press enter here for your web app. Um, and actually one thing I'm going to do before is uh, CD into our uh, folder that you want to save this project in. And um, I created a dummy one, so I'll CD into desktop and uh, testing is the folder and I'll just open it right here oh, oh. Bad. so here we have the testing file that I just made and uh, we'll go ahead and run your web app and then here you can select if you want SAS bootstrap or modernizer included will have everything included and then uh, DSL is either be behavior driven development or test driven development I'll just choose BDD and you'll see on the right we have everything downloading over and um, it takes just about a minute or so so I'm gonna just pause the video and continue from there. So as you can see here, everything has downloaded and we are ready to go ahead and run this project locally. And as we would go ahead and do that just by typing gulp serve and this will automatically run a local host uh, three, uh, 9000 through uh, browser sync and pull up this bootstrap web project and boilerplate right here so everything is fully functional and working that's it for this video let me know if you have any questions uh, one little tip I have for you in the case you run into any issues is by typing in this one command uh, we'll CD. We'll actually um, exit out of this by going to Control C. Uh, run Yo Doctor, and you'll be able to uh, detect any uh, potential issues on your system that could uh, prevent Yeoman from working properly. Uh, this is actually something that I used myself on multiple occasions, and it's uh, a pretty uh, awesome feature to use in the case that uh, you run into any areas you need to debug. Um, but other than that, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to subscribe and uh, we'll go from there.